Hello everyone, thanks for having me for the talk about our ESFIC paper, Fatigue Assessment Using ECG and Active Web Sensors. And our project is mainly about building up a pipeline for fatigue measurement using sensor data. And this is our overview of our, our project. We have the uh, data collection, uh, data pre-processing, feature extraction, and upon the extracted features, we have the deep learning solution and the interpretable solution. And for the feature extraction, we divide the raw data into four segments each day. They are morning, afternoon, evening, and night segment. And each segment corresponding to a fatigue score, uh, which comes from the questionnaire range from 0 to 10. And within each uh, segment, we divide the data into 5 minutes epoch and we model it upon those 5 minutes epochs. And for the interpretive model, we first build up a high level features which uh, ignore the time information of the features. And then we do the feature selection because the high-level feature have a very, very high dimension. We do the feature selection using uh, Lasso uh, in the end. And then this is a, a feature correlation heat map. And then we can see after the, the final step of feature selection, we have less redundancy. And as for the results, uh, we have uh, ECG with 30 selected features achieve the best uh, means absolute error. And note, note that uh, using ECG and active graphic, we, we, got worse, we got worse result. And here is a correlation, be, uh, this, here is a relation between the uh, ground truth and prediction. As we can see, they, they have a slightly not that strong uh, relation, uh, correlation. And this is uh, selected features you can refer to the paper for more details. And, and then we come to the deep learning models. We, we have the LSTM model for the baseline, and we have the LSTM with self-attention. We also have the L, LSTM with consistent self-attention. And here is the result of our deep learning models. As you can see, the LSTM with consistency self-attention achieves the best results. And here is the relationship between the ground truth and the model predi prediction. Uh, and this is the distribution of the attention weights for each time step. As we can say, we have more smooth time uh, attention di distribution for the LCM con consistency uh, self-attention. And we also have the limitation, we have less data, so which means that the Li1 setting is not that, the performance not, is not that ideal. Uh, yeah, that's all for today's sharing. Thanks for your time. Bye.